So here we are again at RE Performance with the lovely Lamborghini Gallardo. And oi, oi! Oh, here he is! All right! What are you doing in there? Spent three days turning into it, basically, into a hotel room. Because <laughs> you can't do anything else with it now. So you can basically live in a Lambo. Live in a Lambo. Nice. So this is Matt's Huracan, no, that's not right. That's me used to saying Performante. Gallardo Performante, so 570-4. This thing is sex on wheels. This is lush. Um, yeah, so this is the original Performante and we are giving it clicky clicky, pedally pedally. Oh, hence why the seat appears to be missing. There is nothing in it. So we'll go around it in a minute, but there's no front, there's no middle, and there's no back, and there's no inside. So Carl's just spent days undoing stuff. <laughs> so yeah, so normally this has got a round thing here that helps you steer and a pedal. So we're gonna, we've taken one pedal out and we're gonna put two pedals in. We've got all the gear selector out for the E-gear. So we've got to swap that, but to get the pedal box out, which is different for the R8, it goes up and under the dash and it's got the main harness running over the top of it. So, um, yeah, cars had fun. Quite an involved process. Yeah, though. yeah, yeah. But I mean, all right, it's not in one piece at the minute, but just look at it. We've just taken all the covers back off it because it's full Alcantara, carbon door cards. I mean, Alcantara bucket seats. It is lush. So, yeah. It's cool, isn't it? It's great. Even with half of it missing. Yeah. So, so what's we'll, the, the, the main reason for, for doing the, the there are none. transformation? There are none. There's one in America, and I don't even know whether that's a genuine manual or not. Okay. But there are none. Like, none. Like, GT level. Wow. So, we did Matt's uh, twin turbo Gallardo years back um, and we planned a little bit better this time because when we stripped that apart obviously I've done a load of R8s and when we've done that Gallardo we found there were a few nuances a few differences so that turned into a bit of a long a bit of a long-term gig that but this between me and him we've done our sort of buy-in and got everything so like we wait 12 weeks for the clutch pipe stuff like that and that's not fair to an owner to have his car sat here for that long waiting for a pipe yeah so you can see we've got all the front end stripped off. So we're gonna come off the reservoir. The pipe's gonna go through that hole there. Yep. Into the clutch cylinder. Then it comes out of the clutch cylinder. You can't see it underneath. The pipe, the metal pipe then goes up over the diff, runs all the way down the prop tunnel, all the way out the back of the car, and then loops around onto the bottom of the gearbox. So that's why we've got this bit out. The inside, we need the steering column off to get the pedal box out. So we've got the steering column off, dash out, dash binnacle out, pedal box out because we've obviously got to swap pedal box. Uh, we've got all the carbon trim in the middle to change the selector which I'll show you in a minute. Um, so yeah, there you go. So that's obviously then going to sit in the middle. So that's the selector. Then you've got the pedal box we've just taken out and the pedal box is going in. Uh huh. Si senor. So where, where has the new pedal box come from? What's that? Uh, so I think he, so Matt got those those bits. So I think that's just Eurospares. Okay. So yeah, pretty good. Um, they're quite good. We've had to order a few other bits from Eurospares as well. Uh, a lot of the pipe work and stuff is the same platform to platform. So we've got that because uh, we could get it quicker. So we just got that through our contacts, uh, through our suppliers. Yeah, so I've got a gearbox sat over there, which we'll start stripping in a minute because we need to pull a carrier plate in the end casing off. So we'll start doing that quick while you're here. But look, I mean, you can you can see, I mean, front diff, oil tank, lights, rear trims. You know, I'm going to have to take his air filters out because this is the K&N oil. I tell everybody all the time, don't use oiled filters, but whoever's oiled them has jet washed them in oil. So yeah, don't do that. That's bad. We get a rag. But you can see, gearbox all out. Tell you what, mate, it's light. 
Well, you've certainly saved a bit of weight. So, rear lid, complete lid off, centre trim, lights, rear bumper, crash bar, arch liners, oil tank, anti-roll bar, oil hoses, complete gearbox assembly. I think we're going to put a clutch in it. Um, so, I mean, there's two days work, that out yep. and in. Then we've obviously got, he's probably spent another day today now, insides out, pedal box and everything out, uh, and then gearbox as well so yeah he's had fun bless him I mean, you can see he had a mischief but so this should be quite this should be quite cool and then this is what you get so we're going to take hydraulics off the pump accumulator and reservoir off then we're going to turn the gearbox up on his side we're going to pull the diff out we're going to pull the end case off we're going to pull the end cover off because I need to modify this and then I'm going to pull the whole carrier plate cassette out I don't know how far we'll get with you here today carrier plate cassette out off so then I can split the gear sets off that and then I can modify the carrier plate and I can modify the end case and I'll show you for why but in a minute So that's fresh washer, so that's oil pump drive. So that's fresh wash for your pump drive. And then reverse. And then that's input shaft. So all we'll do now is we'll just buzz these two off. Like a Formula One car. So we just buzz the two nuts off like so and then I can take reverse drive off but you can't get reverse drive off because the nut ends up shrouding the gear One. so they're the two roll pins that hold reverse onto the shaft so then you just go synchro in behind it the detents the locking collar the shift fork reverse gear that was oil pump drive but also reverse gear idler needle roller and then we'll pop that off now bearing carrier and that is it so needs a good cling but nothing major so um, in the box bits over there was there two needle you go and see what else you've got in there should be two like bearings about that long needle bearings so This is why we have to modify the casings. Manual shift fork that we've already discussed for the selector to fit in. The bearings that get pressed into the case do not fit. Uh -huh. Yeah. So even if I put these in here, these won't fit. They're journal bearings, they're needle rollers. So there should be four of them, is there four? Sweet. So two, in the, two there, and then two in the carrier. Pretty doity, Carl. It's pretty handy to be fair. Hmm. All right. There it is on there. Yeah. So literally just give it a wiggle. And the whole diff comes.
Da da da. Da voila. Right. Yeah. Take different. Uh, yeah, because we've got to get the pinion out, but not to get that case. God, it stinks. I can smell it from here. Hey. Yeah. So then the pinion's locked. With two ring two ring nets. So we yep. have to use a special socket. Watch your ears, dear boy. So you got a bear, you got a bear in there. Then that spline drives off a foot. There's a four-wheel drive gear inside, which I'll show you in a minute. But that that's what that's driven onto. So now everything's off. We put the frame on. You're still carrying that. <laughs> Give him a little workout while he's at it. Where's my other nut gun? Turn away. Okay. One. So we. So, here you've got input shaft. The input shaft is splined onto the input shaft in the gear cassette. Then it comes back out through these two PTU gears, right? One PTU gear drives a four wheel drive shaft, which is this one down in here. And the other, the big PTU gear drives this gear, which is what our pinion was pressed through. Remember, this is what, yep. that's what we have to beat that out of. So that's that. So, that then fits. That's how our pinion would look then, like that. So PTU drives that, which then drives a pinion for the crown gear. And that is that bit. Oh, right, so what we do now is, we get our other tool. 32 in it, that one. 32. It's good watching him work, isn't it? It's good. It's the first time I've seen it, actually. <laughs> Pay attention, because you're putting it back in. I'll be a short test at <laughs> So that's the nut that locks the main PTU gear, the front wheel drive shaft, and the bearing onto the output shaft. So they can go in there. And again, same kind of thing. Different shape to the last time, but just these collar lock nuts. Like a so. We can go there. Then we have. It is like I have done this before, Davoir. It's almost like you know what you're doing. Look at this. No, that's a stretch, mate. So I've done it before. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. 17 out of 10. Nope. Alright, 19. The only problem is then is your tools. Absolutely honk. Yeah. Of gearbox oil. How old is this box? Uh, 12 years old. Right, stinks, okay. doesn't it? Yeah. Like, proper stinks. Yeah.
and grab them to that, mate, and I'll lift from L bottom. Okay. One, two, three. So, nice gear cartridge out. Shift forks off. Like so. so. Now what we do is, it's a bit mucky, isn't it? So, that one is going to be that one. That one is going to be that one. What you got there, mate? You bought two over there. That one is that one. So, and then that one. This is that one. So now, can you see difference? Yeah. Yeah. So what we do is now. Is we do the reverse now. So we drop it back in the cartridge. gear kit ready to go so that's now all done to manual <laughs> so old electronic gear forks Electronic in the R8s, what do they call it in Lugini? E gear. E gear. E gear. Two. Gear, gear. They're in, so they can go. Those bits there. Then we will flip that over. And it's my fiver there, mate. So you've got these little countersunk screws look and then lock washers. So that's, that plate holds those two bearings in. So I've loosened them off with my ratchet. Like so. 
out. That's those two off. That's the plate off. That's the carry plate stripped. So we machine those two holes out to push the needles in. Um, so I can go there. And then if I grab this case down in the inside, look, you see the oil pump. Yep. So what we've got to do now is just pull that oil pump out, which is. Last screw. Then that's that drive look off the back of that gear we were talking about. Yep. That's that. So can you grab an eight mil, mate, and take that screen out, please? What I'll do, Chris, is I will just show you. Um, so when you take the bolts out, just make sure you get the little spring washers. Otherwise, they'll end up in your wash tank and you'll never find them. So four bolts, four spring washers. I mean, can you see how filthy that is? That's what it should look like. And then we'll literally get a tapper. So there's two cases pressed together by spring pins. We just press the back of the case off. And then what happens is is literally just like a oil pump out of a Honda. So as it turns, it just yeah. squeezes, and that is it. Simple. Simple as that, mate. Not when it goes wrong uh, they only go wrong if they pick up debris. So if they pick up debris and it gets wound between, like you see some of them, and they're like these leading edges. Can you see there? Look, there's a couple of bits already gone through it. Look, yeah. but that's like that's fine. We'll clean that at the needle file. But we get some of them that are like, oh my god, they're shocking. Uh, yeah, so you can do one of two things. Uh, yeah, or if you can get in the back of the screen. Two seconds. You can sometimes get it. grotty but there's no big flakes in that right mate both of those that and that can go in the motor tank and we just give them a bit of a scrub off so yeah not too bad at all so good job come to us for all your gearbox needs <laughs> yeah so i mean you can see it you, you know people sort of go 
Oh yeah, it's not that hard. Yeah, it is. You know, there's what? One, two, three, four, five special tools you need. You know, which again, you can make do without, but makes the life, makes life so much easier. But then we'll put one, two, three, four bearings in it. Six new nuts. Um, so yeah, everything's, everything's clean now. We'll give it a wipe down. The shafts look good. We'll just give everything a good wash. The casing's a good wash. They've got to be machined anyway to put the needles in. Yep. Jobs are good, mate. Then put a gearbox back in. <laughs> then run the hose pipes. All, all the pipes. Yeah. 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 That's the. So. Okay, mate. The cables. So. Well, you've earned yourself a tea break now. I know. Can have a lie down. So until next time. We'll see you later. See you later, mate. Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> right.